So let me show that again. Uh, I mean, let me demonstrate again. And let's see what happens. So first, my system will travel to 30 millimeters with the absolute command. I mean, uh, it will go to the 30 millimeter mark on my axis and it will wait for one second. And then it will move negative 20 millimeters via the relative command. So it will come to a halt at negative 10 millimeters. Then it will wait for a while and move to 60 millimeters with the absolute command. And then it will move negative 30 millimeters and come here. And when it hits the zero point, it will complete the operation. So friends, let me start this again so that we can see it more clearly. So the signal for that was I 8.3. And now I am giving physical signals, but you can think of this as if I am giving signals via an operator panel. So my system should start working and it will go to 30 millimeters and stop. So after it waits, it will move negative 20 millimeters with the relative command. So it will then be at 10 millimeters. From there, it will go to 60 millimeters with the absolute. We told it not to come to a halt and go back without waiting. And from there, we set negative 30 with the absolute. So our zero point, our home, was here in the middle and the system should come here in the end. So the system will wait for 3 seconds and then come to the zero point and complete the operation. So let's observe. So friends, uh, this is how you create and use command tables. This is a widely used system and is very important. Knowing this will save lives out there in the industry. So now that we have demonstrated the use again, uh, let's continue our trainings with a different topic in the next video.